सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू एंड अमेजिंग रिगिट बॉडी एंड कोलाइडर बॉडी इफेक्ट विदाउट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी एड ऑन सी गाइज दैट्स माई रियली कूल डायनेमिक एनिमेशन गाइड्स रियली सिंपल एंड बेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगनर्स सो ने गाइज आई शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ इफेक्ट सो स्टॉप एंड गो टू ऑन फाइल एंड आई क्रिएट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट चेक सो गाइज डिलीट योर लाइट ऑनली लाइट एंड ने Guys, select your cube, and I change size. So scale size x one. I like ten, and I increase height. Height I like twenty. Twenty, yes, right. And guys, now delete your top face. So go to on edit mode. Select this face and delete, right. And next one, guys, I take plane, and also guys use wireframe check. So guys, I take plane. and rotation change this one plane rotation like this like a 90 and guys scale size same like a 10 and 20 like this right and guys attach on this plane on here back side so guys select your plane and go to on back so guys position i like y axis 1 yeah good and guys now this time select your cube this one that's my cube so guys i apply this time collision effect so guys go to on rigid body word and i like passive so guys shape i like mesh and hide and hide on render yes and guys same also you can apply rigid body active to change passive like this and use mesh check yes that's it guys okay so guys now next one i take sphere and guys use uv sphere and change size so guys see that's my radius i like 0.3 is good for me and go to on up so press one go to on here out of frame right and next one guys i apply this time rigid board actually array effect array and guys i like factor increase like a 1.2 is good 1.2 and count increase like this guys count i like 25 so go to on here position change like this so guys go to on here and guys that's my sphere so position like a minus 9 and guys little bit more count increase like a 26 is good and next one guys i take new collection so guys select this sphere and collection drag and drop So guys, next one press seven. That's my top view angle. So guys, go to on here like this, and I like one more array. So guys, this time I like count three. So position this one. That's my position. I like one point one. Yeah, and guys, little bit down here. Yes, good, right. And now, guys, I increase height. So go to on here array. and apply height so x1 so like a 1.2 press 1 yeah good right and guys select this pair and increase count guys you can increase count is depend on your work and system configuration like a 30 guys i like more 40 yeah 40 is good right and guys next one i apply rigid body So guys, select this pair and rigid body check. So guys, active and mass is good. So guys, shape I like spherical. That's my spherical. And go to on here friction. Friction I like zero point two and bounce zero point two. Yes, that's it, guys. Okay, so guys, next one. Go to on here again. So guys, array apply all array apply check. So guys, edit mode. so go to on here edit mode check that's my sphere edit mode and guys select all so guys select this vertex vertex selection and press p and loose part check yeah that's my loose part okay so guys go to on object mode and now guys i change center pivot so see guys that's my center pivot and go to on mid so guys go to on object set origin and origin to geometry check yeah good and guys next one and go to on here so guys i change 
frame are like 500 actually 800 is good for me 800 frames and guys go to on here that's my screen and go to on rigid body word so guys catch it and 800 actually 250 is good for me this time only that's my only tutorial part and guys bake all dynamic check yes see guys that's my baking okay so guys my baking is finished now play so guys wireframe uncheck and guys go to on here yes see guys that's my rigid body word rigid body animation again play little bit back yeah great right okay so guys next one so this time guys i apply wheel effect rotating wheel so i create new collection and guys firstly i like this time cylinder and guys i change vertex like a double 64 so guys radius change 0.5 and depth i will change so guys rotation this one like a 90 yes right and guys little bit increase depth little bit like a 2.5 yes and guys now press 7 so guys go to our back little bit here yes okay so guys next one i apply a bevel effect so go to on here and guys i like bevel so guys bevel amount 0.1 and segment like a 5 so guys apply and right click shade smoother check yes okay so guys now next one i like this time cube so guys i change same size so guys increase size like a 5 okay so guys i like 9 9 and guys i will change size so guys height height i like 1 and z1 change like a more like a 0 0.15 yes guys i like more like a 0 0.1 yeah great right and guys press 1 and next one guys i change size so guys select this one this size actually wireframe and go to on here like this go to on mate right and go to on mate yes great okay so guys now duplicate this cylinder actually cube this one and rotation change so guys rotation like a 120 120 check and guys duplicate so press ctrl c and v so guys rotation this one second one like a 240 and third one i like 360 yes see guys that's my wheel right and guys now i create rotation animation so guys this time i like uv actually this one that's my null object so guys select all this one cylinder and both gear so make child with empty object like this so guys select this empty object and i create rotation animation so guys go to on back rotation like this right and guys now rotation check on zero frame rotation check and guys go to on last and rotation 3060 and check and go to on back and play yeah great see guys that's my effect right and guys stop and now guys go to on here and catch it delete all check and guys also i create i apply this time rigid body on cube so guys select this cube and rigid body check and i like passive guys that's my animation part so animation check so guys go to on here second one same setting passive animation check and that's my third cube passive animation check and lastly cylinder and animation and and passive animation check yes so guys now again play so guys it's take little more time because that's my heavy effect so stop so guys stop and back again go to on here and guys closer and bake all dynamic check okay so guys my baking is finished now again play yeah great 
See guys, that's my dynamic animation, right? It's looking really beautiful. That's my dynamic effect. Okay, so guys, all is good. And now next one, guys, stop. So guys, this time select this cube, this one, this one, that's my cube. So guys, little bit change position. So guys, select this cube and go to on edit mode. So select and press one. Go to on up like this, right? And guys, now select this plane, edit mode, object to edit. So guys, select this plane and apply on here. Same. Yes, great. Okay, so next one, guys. This time I apply cube. So I like cube and increase scale size. So cube like a 20, guys, more like a 25. 25 and guys lastly 25 yeah good and press one so guys go attach on this plane like this yeah great press one and guys little bit more so little bit okay so guys now guys delete your front face this one and also guys select this cube this one and delete some part so guys Top face delete this one, top face delete, and this one delete. That's my front face delete. Yes. So, guys, click on here. Right. That's my effect. Okay. So, now guys, select this cube and go to on here like this. And, guys, next one, set your camera angle. Set your camera. So, guys, select your camera here and, guys, position. I will change so all rotation 90 so 0 0 yeah so guys select your front cube so hide and hide on render and guys camera a little bit back here like this yes great okay so guys now all is good and guys select this top cube and I apply same rigid body passive check guys don't check animation and mesh check yeah that's it guys so guys click on here so one more time play yeah that's my effect okay so guys close and delete all back check and also lastly guys i change frame like a 800 and bake all dynamic check yes okay so guys that's my baking it's take lots of time i will show you my final work Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. Next one, guys, go to back and play. See, guys, that's my really cool effect, right? Okay, so guys, that's it. My final work is finished. So guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And guys, you can apply any type of material. It's dependent on your work. Thank you.